visited the professor of theology at the seminary and the book tied to the virtuous woman caught my attention. Although I had a lot of questions for the prof, I had a new distraction because I was faced with the question, who is a virtuous woman? A woman who is proud of who she is and who will not complain about petty things. A woman who is well spoken and not opposed to listening because communication is key from the beginning. A woman who is wise and able to realize that the pit you are in does not matter because she will help you rise. A woman who would not be dormant and who wouldn't try to control her man. A woman who believes in her husband and what he can become, so much confidence in him, it almost makes her seem dumb. A woman who prays for her household, that she prays for herself, remembering God is number one above all else. A woman who can sacrifice, knowing the difference between selfless and selfish is what you should prefer. A woman with the power of forgiveness, but don't abuse it because she's not stupid. She will lose it and you may lose her and have no one to blame when your heart gets the heat. If you hurt a good woman, in my eyes, you aren't what the saliva she spits. You're like the ice cream no one will eat, the one who gets thrown down in hopes. Ants will leave a picnic to pick apart your existence. Use your common sense. Realize what is in front of you and cherish it. Woman is the title the female receives at a certain age, but it takes a good man to realize a good woman is on the next page. I'm not saying women should have this quote for quote, but I'm saying the topic, a virtuous woman, is so important and interesting that I forgot to interview the prof. But knowledge acquired is gold mined. I now understand that she's Abraham's seed that walks by faith and not by sight. Her seeds are planted on a good soil. Her house is built on a rock. Her smile gives warmth to the heart and her heart gives life to the soul. She's that one drenched in Proverbs 31. She's a virtuous woman and she is 